my idea of what, uh, what it was going to be like to be a big brother was um, that I was going to have to help him with his homework or have to pressure him to do homework or a lot more responsible stuff. The thing that mostly changed was um, I never really did uh, express myself to other people. And then when I met him, I was kind of nervous, but after a while I started to express myself toward him and I felt more freely to talk to him and uh, you know, just to goof around with him. And then mess around and play soccer. I had my trepidations about this. I thought it's gonna be a lot of time. I'm not sure what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do. Uh, you remember the first time we hung out, like we yeah. just walked around Sonoma State, I'm like, what do we do? I brought a football and everything. You learn a whole different point of view and, and now it's, it's chill. Like, you just talk about, he just talks about being a kid and I listen and just trying to remember what it's like to be a kid. Yeah. The person you are is just amazing, you know. You're always there for me. Um, <laughs> you're like a, an older brother. Diego and what, our difference is almost 20 years. I can tell you how I feel when uh, no one's really there for me, and it's just a, it's a blessing. So Diego, I'd say what I like most about you is you're not afraid to try new stuff. Mm -hmm. Especially when we went and had sushi, and you weren't afraid to try the raw fish, and you ate it all, and you liked it. I thought that was super cool. Because I was worried, I was like, man, I'm not sure if Diego's gonna taste this and then throw it up or spit it out. And I was kind of, I was prepared for that. But that you didn't and that you liked it, good job. Thanks. He's teaching me all the, all their slang terms. <laughs> he, um, we talk about music together. I was glad you tried to do boxing. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was thinking maybe he's afraid of getting hit in the face and doesn't really want to go through with it. His boxing's not easy. It's a lot of training. There's a lot of running. Yeah. And now you went through with it, that's, that's good. It's good for you. It's good for, good for these guys here. <laughs> well, an adult should become a big, uh, because like Adolfo, you know, if you don't really have like younger uh, siblings or, it kind of like reminds you, like what he said, like how you were as a kid. With kids, you could like goof around and. I have a family, right? I have a, a decent sized family, but there's always room for more. For me, Diego's like my little cousin and that's cool. Like, I think adults should become bigs because this is fun. Being a big brother doesn't mean forcing him to do his homework, right? It reminds you of what it was like to be that age, which I'd forgotten.